we are going to talk about the self as the brain according to Paul Churchland. Paul Churchland is a Canadian philosopher known for his studies in neural philosophy and the philosophy of mind. Philosophy is among other conceptions, no doubt, a human quest for comprehension, particularly self-comprehension. Who am I? How should I understand the world and myself? It is in the context that the philosophical importance of Paul M. Churchland is most evident. For three decades and counting, Mr. Churchland has encouraged us to conceive ourselves from the neurocomputational perspective. We are going to talk about dualism. Most Western thinkers have hung fast to the principle of dualism for most of history. Once it comes to learning of human experience, the concept behind dualism is that the mind and the body are separate. In other words, we do have a single brain, and we have a different mind too. In relation to this concept, dualists have traditionally claimed that the consciousness is the center of our knowledge. Paul Churchland, a modern-day philosopher who studies the brain, disagrees with dualism. Churchland sticks to eliminative materialism and the belief that there is nothing but matter. What is eliminative materialism? In eliminative materialism or eliminativism, Churchland asserts that since the mind can't be experienced by our senses, then the mind doesn't really exist. Eliminative materialism argues that the mind's ordinary folk psychology is wrong. It is in the physical brain and not the imaginary mind that gives us our sense of self. Eliminativism is the extreme materialist stance that holds that mind talk has no concrete context in the universe and can thus be excluded from our language. By mind talk, they generally mean words like mind, soul, thought. In other words, if the senses cannot be identified in any way, then it is just like a fairy tale. Churchland believes that our folk psychology will be replaced by the theory of the workings of the brain and the central nervous system, which is emerging from neuroscience. We will come to explain and predict what we do better, our behavior not in terms of beliefs and desires, but in terms of neurons, synapses, ganglia, and neurotransmitters.